All right. Shalom. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahushai, the Balonas, the Apostles, and Elders of Great Millstone of Rule Well, and Salutations to the Akram around the world that pushes truth and sincerity. So I'm going to go through some scriptures here about the descendancy lineage, or the scriptures say, not seeds as many, but seed as in one. All right, I'll start with Genesis. 17 I'll start from 19 right they say and the most I said Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed and will establish my covenant that's not right. indeed and thou shalt call his name Isaac and I will establish thy covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him so you see how some people are say that it was given to Ishmael because he's the firstborn or that the seed or all of a sudden now the covenant open up to people of other nations you understand that is folly so today verse 20 i say and as for Ishmael i have heard thee behold i have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will, multi and will multiply him exceedingly. It said, Twelve princes shall he begat. And I will make him a great nation. Which you see the Ishmaelites is right today, right? The so called Arabs. They are a great nation. It said, But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee. At this set time in the next year so the Mosai was letting him know exactly who it is the promise was going to be with it was not going to be with Ishmael or any other or any other lineage outside of where this he did promise that the Mosai is not one to lie but we get on some more into that So this is I'll read this one Deuteronomy 7 I'll read 6 right Deuteronomy 7 verse 6 you say for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power right it said the Lord thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are that are on that are that are upon the face of the earth. You understand? Say, verse 7, they say, The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor, ch nor chose you, because ye are more in number than any people. For ye are, for ye were the fewest of all people. And this is Israel he was talking to at that point in time. <coughs> Stop here. It say, but because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, which is unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage from the hand of the of the Pharaoh, king of Egypt. So as you, as you see, say, as he promised unto his unto our fathers, which is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the rest of Israel, that descendancy lineage is what he would have choose to be his people out of all other nations. All right. So let me get. Precept here. So this is Galatians 3 verse 16, right? It say, now to Abraham and his and his seed were the promises made, right? Not not um the Moabites and the Hamites, right? It say, now to Abraham would 
and his seed were the promises made. It say he saith not unto seeds as of many. Okay, now the song is go, Father Abraham had many sons, but it didn't go, the promise didn't go to all of his children, all of his children. To say unto thy seed, say, unto seeds as of many, but as of one. So it's only one descendancy lineage that he chose out of all Abraham's sons. And to thy seed, which is Mashiach, because the Messiah came through that same descendancy lineage that he chose, which is of the seed of Isaac, and then Jacob, and then from Jacob his name was changed to Israel. Ah, do you understand? And I have scriptures to actually even show you the descendancy lineage. I'll get out now. All right, so there's Luke 3. There's Luke 3. I'll start from 33, right? Let's say, let's say, which was the son of Aminadab, which was the son of Aram, which was the son of Esram, which was the son of Perez, which was the son of Judah. And we all know who Judah was the son of. They say, which was the son of Jacob. Which was the son of Isaac, which was the son of Abraham, which was the son of Terah, which was the son of Nacor, which was the son of Sarok, which was the son of Ragu, Ragu, which was the son of Phaleg, which was the son of Heber, which was the son of Salah, which was the son of Canaan. Which was the son of Arphaxad, which was the son of of Shem, which was the son of Noah, which was the son of Lamech, which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Malel. Which was the son of of Canaan, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Set. And yeah, excuse my pronunciation a little bit. Uh, there's the, the word for word 1611, so not the J's, I's, and so forth. Is it which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Set, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of the Mosai. So if you read it. If you read it in reverse, you will actually see the descendancy lineage going forward from Adam and each chosen descendancy lineage that was after him until they reach Jacob, which is Israel, and then from Jacob, his 12 sons were considered of the tribes of Israel, right? It wasn't pertaining to any other nation and it never did change. You understand? Musa said that I will be an everlasting covenant. It never did change from being Israel. And if, no matter where you look in the scriptures, you could always see evidence of that. You see, this is um second Ezra. Second Ezra six. I'll read. I'll read from 55, right? Second, it's just 6, verse 55. It say, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Which you can also see in second, it's just, I think it's 7, verse 11 and 12, or 10 and 11. It say, He made the world for Israel's sake. You understand? It was verse um, 56. It say, And for the other people, which also came of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. You understand? If a man tote in a bucket of water, and a drop fall out, 
he wouldn't really he wouldn't really care for that he wouldn't go back by the pipe and, and try to fill back one drop that come like nothing which is how the other nations are class in comparison to israel because those are his chosen people who are the scriptures refer to them as the apple of his eye you understand they are the ones who he does focus on the other nations are just there to serve certain purposes and when when time come in the kingdom they will be to serve israel So really and truly, that is the descendancy lineage, according to how the scriptures say, not about how the people in these synagogues as teach that the Mosai opened to the Gentiles, which they don't even understand that the Gentiles pertain to the Israelite foreigners. And even though it said to the Gentiles in Romans, it explains here also that the Israelites are the one that pertain to the adoption. But that is a short rundown on the descendancy lineage and who the most high chosen people really are right to give our praises on and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai double honors the apostles and elders of great millstone and rule well and salutations to the Akram around the world that pushes truth and sincerity Shalom